Well, uh, Counselor, the other uh, screening technique for colorectal cancer that you mentioned was flexible sigmoidoscopy. Now, what this entails is using a flexible tube um, that has fiber optic cables within it. It's about two feet long, and at the end is either a camera or a video system uh, or some kind of direct eyepiece. And through this lighted tube, uh, the physician is able to view the inside of your lower gastrointestinal tract uh, from the anus to the rectum and to uh, the left side of the colon. Now, this is a procedure that uh, has some benefits and, and some risks entailed. Uh, the benefits are that it doesn't take as much training to perform this procedure as others. And so family practitioners, general internists uh, uh, are, are typically well-schooled in this technique. Uh, the other benefit is that the vast majority of colorectal cancers occur in this lower distal left-sided uh, uh, part of your gastrointestinal tract. So the vast majority, probably 80-85% of cancers, can be potentially detected. Um, the, the problem with flexible sigmoidoscopy is that it doesn't examine the entire colon. And you may get four out of five cancers by doing a flexible sigmoidoscopy, but you're not going to capture them all. In fact, no screening technique is going to capture all of them because of uh, technical problems or potentially uh, physician error. But you want to maximize that. As a consequence, flexible sigmoidoscopy has kind of fallen out of favor in the last few years. Still offered by general practitioners and family practitioners, uh, typically in rural areas where maybe more advanced techniques cannot be offered. Uh, and it's helpful in following up on lesions that are already established and known to be in the lower part of the gastrointestinal tract. Uh, however, right now, the standard of care for treating, uh, I'm sorry, for diagnosing and potentially doing biopsies within the colon for, and looking for colorectal cancer is a full colonoscopy.